Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I'm doing something slightly different. Um, I'm actually getting ready to go on a mini staycation. So I'm gonna be packing my bags and going just an hour away, so nowhere really far. Um, but just wanting to take some time for myself because I am a new mom and um, my daughter, she's 10 months now and I just need, you know, a little bit of me time. And so the hubby was generous enough to watch after our little one while I go and take do some self care and get some me time. So I'm actually getting ready to go right now. And I just wanted to kind of film really quick what I'm bringing with me. Well, I'm gonna just film my bags. I've already packed them, so I'm not gonna unpack them and repack them. But what I will do is show you all what I brought once I arrive at my final destination. That way, if there's a mommy out that's wanting to take a little staycation, y'all can have an idea of what you could bring. Um, this is my quote unquote YouTube studio here. You'll see that's my desk there. I actually just filmed a little nail tutorial. So yeah, I have my bags packed here in the corner. Oops. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm bringing. Um, as you can see here, I have my yoga mat. Um, I just wanted to bring this so that I could do some yoga. Um, I also have my backpack, which has like my laptop and a couple of other like work stuff just in case I wanted to do some work. I don't want to pressure myself into working during this staycation, but I also want to kind of be productive if I can because I'm going to have some nice uninterrupted time. I don't have my little one kind of distracting me as much as, you know, I'm used to happening. So um, I did bring some work with me too in this backpack here. Um, and then I have my smartwatch. Um, I was debating about bringing this. I don't know if I really need it or not, but I have it with me. And then here's my duffel bag. And in my duffel bag, like I said, I don't want to really unpack everything. I'm going to show you all what I brought once I get to my final destination. But I did bring my uh, breast pump because I'm still nursing and a couple of outfits and things like that. So I'm going to show you all everything I brought. But I was pretty excited about this because... Whew, I was pretty excited about this because a lot of the body care items that I brought, um, they're all kind of aromatherapy themed. So like lavender perfume and like essential oil, um, lotions, and even my body spray is essential oil themed. So yeah, I'm going to show you all all those goodies once I get there. So this is my first time doing this type of vlog. And so, um, oh yeah. Hey, check me out in the back. Ah, character, caricatures of me. Anywho, um, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and hit the road and I'm going to try to film some scenery on the way there and then hopefully um, once I get there show you all where I'm staying. I am uh, staying at a tiny home. Um, I got that on Airbnb which I'm super excited about. I've been wanting to stay in a tiny home to experience that for quite some time now. So I'm going to be doing a tiny home and yeah I'll just take you all along on the journey with me. I am hoping to also check out a meditation retreat that's supposed to be happening maybe like 20 minutes from where I'm staying. So we'll see how that goes but my goal for this vacation is literally just to get rest, um, to get centered, to clear all the distractions in my head and just like I said just kind of get focused, raise a sharp focus on where I want to be, uh, what I want to do and how I navigate this thing called life and motherhood and entrepreneurship. So yeah, um, stay tuned if you all want to come along on this ride with me. Okay so I just hit the road and as you can see my bags are packed and I'm on my way. I'm at a stop sign right now so yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna take you all along for the ride with me and uh, let's make it to this destination safely. All right. Okay, so I just arrived at my tiny home and it's so cute that they have like the hidden haven parking. That's what they call the Airbnb. It's like right here. So that's pretty cool. Um, I am going to go ahead and get out and 
get all checked in. Off to the left, that's my little tiny house I'll be staying in right there. And I think that's the Airbnb host house. So yeah, let's go ahead and get on in here and see what we see what we're working with here. Okay, okay. Few, my, my couple of bags that I have here. Uh, my duffel bag. And my backpack. And my yoga mat. All right. All right. I guess I could just walk through the grass. There's a little patio area, that's pretty nice. This is really cute. Cute little quaint little home, I love it. it seems so peaceful out here. Just like the photo. Right, let's see here. How cute is this? So when you first come in, like, this looks really nice. It's really small and quaint, hence tiny home, right? So there's like the mini fridge. They have like, I guess like cups and spoons and that's sweet. They got like little snacks and such in there. Today guys, mood. Today's good mood is brought to you by coffee. That's cute. Got some cute decor, nice little chair here. Yeah, Wi-Fi password. I guess I'll blur that out. This is a really nice quaint little space here. And okay, we have a closet here. I don't know that there's light in the closet, but there's a closet. I might use this to hang some stuff up. I'm glad there's an iron. Because some of my clothes I bought, they get pretty wrinkled. Um here they have a TV, which is a really nice size actually. And a little table for me to, I guess, work off of. There's me. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey. And the bathroom. I like this. Yeah, they dig nice with this. Okay. So this is my spot here. This is the bathroom. Okay. They gave me towels. Got some hand soap, hand sanitizer. I like the little hidden haven, like sea. A uh, sandy beachy theme that's really cute and here's the shower this shower is actually really nice for a tiny home so yeah oh wow they love shampoo and everything okay that's pretty dope all right cool okay so I am all checked into my little haven here so I am going to go ahead and get unpacked and as promised I did tell you all that I will show you what I brought with me for my little uh, staycation I guess you can call it a mommy staycation because I'm only an hour away from where I live, but um, I want it to be close just in case um, uh, my daughter needed me, my daughter or my hubby needed me, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get unpacked and make myself comfortable and I'll take you all along the journey with me, okay? All right, see you here shortly. So, yeah, this is everything I brought with me. Uh, sorry if the lighting isn't that great. Obviously, I don't have my ring light set up yet, but um, yeah, I brought um, just, this is just a regular t-shirt. Um, this is a sleeping dress, which I love to bring this on any trip I go on. And it's just a, a nice long black dress that I can throw on. And But yeah, it's just a nice long dress that I can throw on when I need to go to bed. And if I need, to, I actually can wear it out too if I want to with like some cute sandals and like a cardigan. But I specifically brought it just for my like lounging around dress. But yeah, I love bringing this with me when I travel. And then I just brought um, some biker shorts and a yellow t-shirt. 
And then I brought two uh, cute little dresses to wear so that, um, you know, if I want to look all dressed up and put together one of these days, maybe I want to take myself out for lunch or something, I have this cute little dress here. It buttons all the way up and then it ties here at the waist. And it's, I have two of the exact same dress. Um, I really, really like these dresses a lot. They're nice, quick, convenient, and cute. So I have these two dresses here. And then I brought one pair of sandals. Uh, these I actually just bought from Shein. Um, I did a haul with them recently. Um, and I got these cute little glitter shoes. I thought they were adorable. So I brought these and they go good with both of my dresses. And then I got some flip flops here and mainly I bring these for like shower shoes and then if I just need some shoes to kind of throw on really quick to go whatever run outside for anything I have these available um I brought my knee brace too so unfortunately I've been having some issues with my knee I started back going to the gym and when I went back I went too hard and so yeah I actually injured myself and so I, I have to wear this knee brace and I actually have some pain pills too for when my knee starts um, you know, hurting and things like that. So that's that. Um, actually, I'm gonna just go ahead and put these sandals on the floor. Um, I have my scarf to tie my hair down at night. And then these are some more, uh, these are some slides. These are my travel slides. They're really nice, comfortable. They're made out of foam. And I normally bring these with me on most trips I go on too. And this is kind of what I just wear like lounging around whatever place I'm staying at. So that's what these are for. These are what I'm gonna slip into next. Um, and as you all, so I don't know if y'all noticed, but I have my tennis shoes too. Um, and those are over there. It's just some comfortable new balance. I got a couple pairs of socks. And then the mommy part of this vacation, um, these are just my delicates. Don't worry about these. Um, but the mommy part of the vacation here is, or staycation is, I still have to pump you guys. Um, <clears throat> my daughter, she's 10 months and she is still nursing. So I bought all the pumping supplies. So I have this and I have the actual pump itself. I do use the Spectra. I believe this is the Spectra 2. Or maybe it's the one. It's the, whichever the one that you don't have to recharge it. It doesn't recharge. I got some pump bags to put her milk in. And um, I have my nursing bra to, well, I guess my pumping bra, I guess that's a better thing to say. I brought that. I also brought, okay, so the aromatherapy serene part of this whole thing. So my body care, right? So I'm pretty sure you all wanna know what I brought on my body, you know, for my body care, for my staycation to just be nice and relaxed with. So I really wanted to focus on having like aromatherapy type scents and things like that. And primarily that was so that I can really get into um, a nice peaceful mindset um, to just really clear my mind, clear my thoughts so that I can get um, razor focus on the next steps that's happening in my life. And so I wanted to kind of play along with that theme that I had for myself. So from Bath and Body Works, y'all know I had to bring something from Bath and Body Works. I have the Sleep Aromatherapy. I told you all I was gonna be using this scent and I, when I told y'all after that haul that I was gonna be using it, okay, like I pulled it out that very next day. So this is the Sleep Aromatherapy, the Island Edition. And it has the uh, Hibiscus Absolute and Ylang Ylang Oil. So that's what that looks like. So this is my body lotion I'll be using during the trip. Um, the next item I have here is my body wash which is the wild berry and chamomile with natural uh tea oil i've had this for a very very long time and decided to pull it out specifically for the aromatherapy benefits of it um this is very calming and very relaxing to me so this is going to be my body mist um hand sanitizer can't leave home without that and then um the next thing i have here is eucalyptus essential oil and aromatherapy oil mist and i bought this really for um to spray down my yoga mat which where is my yoga mat okay so i did bring my yoga mat with me too so i brought this to spray down my yoga mat to you know bring and continue on with getting those essential oils and aromatherapy benefits. And I also 
spray it here whenever I meditate. I actually, I'm planning on doing a meditation um, event at the park tomorrow, so I'm super excited about that. And so yeah, I have my eucalyptus oil, my, my eucalyptus spray. And then for an actual perfume, I did bring Pacifica Beach Lavender Lemon. So I'm gonna show you all what this looks like. This is the Pacifica Beach Lavender Lemon. I don't know if you all can really see that or not, but yeah, this is, excuse my ashy hands, <laughs> but this is the um, actual perfume that I'll be wearing during this trip. So like I said, I really wanted to play, oops, glass and glass, I hope that don't break. Like I said, I really wanted to play on um, aromatherapy. And then for my shower gel, I'm actually just trying to use up more of my travel size Bath & Body Works shower gels. So I bought Cabana Breeze from Bath & Body Works. So yeah, that's everything. And then I just have my deodorant. Um, I did actually bring a charcoal um, toothpaste as well. So we'll see how that goes. I've never used that before, but that's everything that I brought. Um, I did also bring some eyelashes if I wanna, you know, get jazzy or whatnot when I decide to take myself on a lunch date or whatever with my eyelash glue and some gloss. And I also have um, a Sharpie to write on the milk bags with. So yeah, you guys, this is everything that I brought with me and I'm gonna do my best to kind of take you all along with how I do during this particular stay. So I am gonna go ahead and just uh, put everything away. So I might continue recording and just have some music playing. Um, otherwise, I will see you all in the next clip. All done for now so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and put this ring light on my camera and I will see you all in the next clip Alright, so good morning, happy people. I actually I got clothes on, just so you know. <laughs> this the this is the dress I was telling you all about that I really like. This is what I like to go to sleep in. And it's like my the dress that I just kinda like wear around wherever I'm staying at, whether I'm at a hotel or an Airbnb or whatever. But um I just woke up and yesterday was a fairly good day. Um it was pretty productive. Um yeah, so I just started like my second business and so I made a couple of calls um, trying to get some more things like established so we can get things up and going off the ground. So um, yesterday felt pretty productive. I responded to a lot of emails and things like that. I meant to film it, but honestly, you guys, like yesterday, I feel like it just was kind of a blur went by so fast. Um, and I was also struggling trying to find the balance between like being okay with taking a break for myself and um, trying to be productive, if that makes sense. So I was feeling a little bit guilty about um, like being away from home and things like that, away from my little one and all of that. Um, but anywho, so I just woke up today. I allowed myself after like around six o'clock yesterday, I was just like, you know what? Just rest, you know, just rest. And that's been my, my MO since last night. And so, um, yeah, I did uh, reach out to the lady where I was trying to do like the meditation at the park yesterday, but um, she said that she wasn't doing it yesterday. She is doing it today, but I don't know if I might need to go home to drop off some uh, milk for my little one because I am still nursing. So if I need to go back home and drop that off to my daughter, then I don't know if I'm going to have time to do that. So I'm going to just kind of play it by ear and see. Um, she did offer to do the class virtually, but I really want to do it in person. So yeah. Anywho, y'all, um, I did wake up early this morning, like around seven. I am an early bird in general, but I woke up, I just had a bowl of cereal and then I went back to sleep because I was like, I need to get rest. I mean, I'm trying to get as much rest as possible during this trip so that when I go home, I'm feeling good and refreshed. And so I just woke up again now. I think I went to sleep, back to sleep at eight and now it's 11 o'clock. So now I'm up for the day 
and I'm getting ready. So I'm getting ready to brush my teeth. Um, I'm in the bathroom. This isn't like the best setup, but you know, I'm doing what I can. So I'm getting ready to just brush my teeth, you know. My toothbrush here. And um, I also have my toothpaste. Um, and I am using a charcoal toothpaste. I'm not showing the name of this company because I'm not really happy with them. But I have a sample size toothpaste that I want to use up. But it's charcoal toothpaste. Um, let's see. And what's crazy is I've actually never used charcoal toothpaste before. It does come out black. And my thing is, it's like, it just seems unnecessary. <laughs> Okay, so mouth is all clean and minty fresh. Dee, dee, dee. All right, so now I'm actually going to um, pump. So this first thing this morning and my boobs are really full and this might be TMI for some folks, but I need to pump to get this milk out so that my little one, like I said, can have some milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so I'm trying to see if the lighting is any better here. I don't think that it is, but I'm gonna just go with it. So, uh, just got off the phone with um, my little one, and um, yeah, she's doing good. She gave her pops a little bit of a run for her for a run for his money last night. Uh, woke up at one and was up until like three, no, four o'clock in the morning. So I don't think he got much sleep yesterday. But that is all in the day's work for a parent. So anywho, I just finished pumping you guys. So this is what I was able to pump, all right? So I got 4.75 ounces on one and a full five ounces on another. So what's that, like almost 10 ounces? And so I'm gonna put them in separate bags and just mark them out. So we got five ounces. On one, what was that 4.75? Yeah, 4.75 on the other one. So I'm just gonna tear the bag open here and pour the milk in here. When you pour these milk into these bags, like you cannot think too long and hard about it, otherwise you might lose some milk. You know, because you might think, oh, I need to pour it at this angle, pour it at that angle. No, just pour it on in there before you end up losing the whole bottle, okay? So that's what I do. I try my best to get any little drop out because yeah, I, I, no breast milk goes wasted over here, okay? So um, unfortunately the place I'm staying at, it doesn't have a freezer. So what I am gonna do is reach out to uh, my Airbnb host. Um, they were gracious enough to tell me that if I needed to, they could, uh... sorry, that's kind of loud. But they were gracious enough to tell me that if I needed to store my breast milk, I could store it at their house. Because I'm actually staying in a tiny home in someone's backyard. And so um, I am going to go ahead and take her up on that offer and grab my, and go ahead and let her freeze the milk. And then what I'll do is um, tomorrow morning when I'm getting ready to leave, I'll just go ahead and grab the milk from her. So I was just talking to my hubby and I plan to leave tomorrow like at around 10 o'clock. So that, um, I'm actually surprised it was just enough breast milk for her, um, for the couple of days that I was going on. So what I'll do is leave at 10, be there by 11, cause she woke up at 11 o'clock today for the day. So I'll go ahead and leave by 10 so I can be there by the time she wakes up in the morning. So yeah, you guys, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do today. Like I said, I could do that meditation thing at the park. Um, I could work on some more editing YouTube videos. Um, or I could just take time for myself. I think I need to just like take time for myself though because um, I don't get this opportunity often like at all. 
think about treating myself to the movies and then maybe going to shop around at a mall or something um coming back relaxing for a bit like i think i need to do a day out today because yesterday i was just in feeling guilty and not really sure what to do with myself and today i'm just like everything's okay my husband's handling everything well he's not feeling too overwhelmed or anything like that he hasn't sent the sos signal for help so I want to take advantage of that and um, just allow myself to be free and do what it is that I normally used to do. So um, that's I think what I'll do today. I might go check out a movie, and then I might um, I might go check out a movie. Might do a little bit of shopping, and then come back. I don't know if I want to treat myself out to eat or not. I was going to do that at first, but then I feel like I've been doing really good with like eating healthy. I actually brought like. It's like a lot of healthy foods from home salads and things like that um some tuna all that and so i feel like i've been eating fairly well on this trip don't really want to mess it up but at the same time i would not mind going to treat myself out to eat at a restaurant so i might still go do that as well but i will see and as much as i can i'm trying to take you all along on the journey with me but you know i be wanting to do stuff too i'm i'm, I'm a very private person so you know, I like to navigate stealthily. Um, but yeah, anywho, I'm just rambling right now. So yeah, I have these two bags of breast milk here. And I actually have six bags pumped already. So I actually have eight bags of milk. Let me show you all. <laughs> Let me show you my stash, okay? Okay. So this is the little mini fridge where I've been keeping everything in. This is all of the milk that I have. Yeah, so I have all this milk here. So I do need to reach out to the lady. So yeah, I do need to reach out to the lady to see if she can help me store this breast milk um, in the freezer. I'm gonna try to mix these up so that when they get frozen, all the fat isn't just like sitting in one area. Cause as you can see, like when you store breast milk, it's kind of interesting. I don't know for those who care, like the breast milk, the fat separates from I guess like the other liquid, but this is like just pure fat and that's where all the nutrients and stuff is that my little one gets. So I'm just gonna mix these bags up a bit so that when she freezes them, they're stored nice and evenly. And yeah, let me just reach out to her really quick. All right, so I'm gonna email her, wash out my breast pump parts, and I'll be back shortly. I don't know what I'll show you all next. Maybe I'm gonna meditate. Maybe I'm gonna go shopping. Maybe I'm gonna go hop in the tub. We'll see, but uh, I'll be back shortly. Okay, so I've just gotten out the shower. I'm just gonna go ahead and go through my body care routine, and I'm gonna show you all what I'm putting on my body. Okay, so I kinda wanna speed through this, so I'm not gonna talk too much. So for my deodorant, I'm just using my Suave 24-hour care. For my lotion, I'm gonna be using the Bath & Body Works Sleep Aromatherapy line. And then my body spray, I'm gonna be using the Wild Berry and Chamomile from Bath & Body Works. And then for my perfume, I'm gonna be using Beach Lavender from Pacifica. So I'm gonna just play some music in the background and let you guys watch me lotion my body. So this is what I'm wearing for today. It's really just some biker shorts and a t-shirt and I'm gonna go ahead and spray my perfume so I do do my body spray first and I just do I'm gonna just show you all how many sprays I do so it's like one two three hit the shoulder one two three hit the neckline hit the back of my neck then I do one two three and then I also do three down on each side then I do three on my leg and hit the back two three hit the back I spray down the, my, my blouse area and then I spray in the front and the back. So, and then I spray my stomach. So that's how I do my body spray. And then I go on top with my perfume and I focus that kind of in some of the same areas. Um, I'll do one right here, one right here, one, two here, one, two, one, two, and then kind of spray over the same one. So that's how I layer my fragrances. Oh, wow, this perfume smells really good. Oh my gosh, talk about relaxing you guys. Okay, yeah, this is nice. Beach lavender lemon. You can really smell the lavender and lemon. That's a really, really beautiful scent together. 
and lay it with the chamomile and natural tea oil, tea tree oil. That's a really good combination. Okay, so I did decide to go ahead and do the um, the meditation in the park. So that's where I'm actually heading to right now. And that's why I'm dressed pretty casual. Um, I think in afterwards I might go to a movie and or uh, take myself out to eat. I did want to get dressed up for that, but I'll likely just go from the um, meditation at the park to wherever else I'm going to do. So if I do end up going, I am going to just put on this green dress here. I'm going to just bring this with me in the car. So I'll bring this green dress with me here. And um, I'll also just wear my sparkly sandals that I showed you all that I brought with me. So yeah and i think that's all for this vlog i'm gonna leave pretty early tomorrow like around 10 o'clock in the morning so i doubt if i'll film anymore so i'll go ahead and end the vlog here uh this trip has been really nice really relaxing and very much so needed so for all of the people who are overworked and just tired and needing a break and or all the moms out there that's being a superwoman and just cranking it and pushing it and um you know caring for everybody but yourselves remember to take time do some self-care do some self-care um you know even if it's just for like one night or even just a few hours make sure you're taking care of you first because when you're full um you can't give from an empty cup and when you fill your cup you're able to pour into others and so and so yeah sorry i'm a little sweaty i just got the shower so yeah um i hope you all enjoyed this staycation vlog it's something a little bit different for me but um definitely something i wanted to try and do um obviously it's not going to be perfect it's my first time doing it but yeah i did want to kind of document this moment for myself because um yeah i want to look back on it and just you know remember that i did take the time for myself and i want to kind of implement that into my life more frequently so yeah um i hope you all enjoyed this video i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday i'm not sure which day in particular this video is going to go up it's likely going to be on a tuesday um but yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family i would love to have you and yeah let me know what are some things that you all do for self-care i would love to hear it down in the comments below so yeah as always leave me some love in the comments down below and i'll see you in my next video i hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day bye